Bison women's basketball drops a couple of road games this week. A tough trip for Mar and Walseth and the Bison. But there was a close call on Thursday. A lot of positives out of this one. A loss at Oral Roberts, 59-58. And coach, just give us a capsule of that game. It was right there, wasn't it? It was. It was. We didn't play our best basketball in the first half, but the second half, ladies were very determined, valued the basketball, really put us in a situation to take that last shot to win the game. And unfortunately, it came up short. But by no means was it at fault of anybody's effort, uh, focus, had, had a couple timeouts, drew up plays, executed them beautifully. Uh, so I'm very proud of the fight and the resolve that we had on the road in or at Oral Roberts. Hey, some great improvement from uh, the game one here at the BBF to Tulsa. You're only a minus two on the glass, and they got you pretty good on the boards here, so that's a big improvement. Absolutely. I think uh, that's a collective effort, um, but more, most importantly, our guards. Mm -hmm. uh, their guards rebounded the ball very, very well here in Fargo, and I thought our guards did a much better job uh, down in Tulsa, boxing out, pursuing the basketball, and, and again, limiting their offensive possessions. Sometimes on a two-game road trip, when you have a really close call, a hard-fought game on Thursday, it can drag over into Saturday. Did that happen? Was it tough to rebound from a one-point loss and go into Brookings? You know, I think that's one, that's one way to look at it, but I also believe that our team was very energized by what we could do on the road, as playing on the road had been a bit of a monkey on our back. Yep. Um, so Friday, we had a, a very, good, uh, very good practice down in Brookings. Uh, and I thought we had kind of gotten over, gotten over the hump. Um, and then on Saturday, we walked into quite possibly a, a buzzsaw yeah. at SDSU. They play very, very well on the road. Um, they had a doubleheader of a packed crowd. Mm -hmm. It was a great basketball environment. It really, really was. Um, but the physicality kind of had the best of us. Yeah, 46-24 in the paint, uh, minus 13 on the glass. They were dialed in, weren't they, SDSU was? They were dialed in. Uh, they realized that they had a closer game than maybe that they wanted here, uh, here yep. in Fargo earlier in the, in the conference play. Uh, and I think that worked to their advantage, uh, helping them to play focused and playing uh, a bit more physical than they had uh, here in Fargo. You know, you look at the standings, uh, USD's 10-1. and one. They've won nine in a row. SDSU's won five in a row. They're nine and one. Then there's a second tier, ORU, IUPUI, and Western Illinois in that three to five loss range. There's still opportunity with as many games that are left to move up to potentially sixth for you guys, especially with three home games coming up here. Yeah, you know, Saturday's game is, is done. We are, yeah. we're, we're moving on and we've got five games left and I am extremely excited about those five games, how we match up with those five opponents. Uh, we will have our hands full, but with three games here at the B, or here in Fargo, two yeah. here at the BBF and one out, out at Shields, yeah. uh, we're, we've, we've still got a lot to play for. And, yeah. and that's an exciting thing for me. Uh, we'll be in the gym today, do some individual work, have tomorrow off, um, but then it's a very positive and, and forward-looking view that we'll have on Wednesday for Thursday and Friday and this weekend. Uh, so there's still a lot to be played for. A fun one for the fans Friday as well. Uh, we'd appreciate having you out here to support the Bison women. IUPUI is a good team, certainly in the top tier uh, in the discussion with USD and SDSU, aren't they? They're a good team. They're a very good team. Uh, we went out there and, and played well at, and spurts and, and being able to play well for a full 40 minutes as we've been able to demonstrate here in Fargo uh, will, be our, will be our key. How about, uh, so this three-game stretch, it's so exciting to have IUPUI, Omaha, Denver, some winnable games in there, and, and that has to excite the kids, doesn't it? I think it does. Three very different opponents, yeah. very different styles, but at the same time, that uh, keeps us on our toes, and there's no way for us to, you know, kind of hang our heads or, or get, you know, stuck in the, the routine because every day will be different. Uh, it, preparing for a different opponent and how we will be successful against those opponents. Uh, but there's a lot to be played for and it's an exciting time of basketball. You know, and you do have one Shields game coming up and the team, I don't know what it is, has played very well in Shields, haven't they? They have played well, well in Shields. The, the thought process of the BSA yeah. rims has been passed down <laughs> to kids who never even played in the BSA. Uh, but there is an added uh, excitement, whether it's really the BSA rims, whether it's being in a larger environment, whether it's yeah. being part of a double header. Uh, there's a lot of positives going on uh, when we play at Shields. Best of luck to you, Coach. A couple of big games this week, and we'll look forward to seeing the fans out here. Best of luck. Thank you. All right, IUPUI on Friday, 7 o'clock. I'll have the call of that one. Sunday, Omaha, 2 o'clock. Uh, Jack Michaels and myself will be here with the call. Bison Radio Network fired up for both games. And then, of course, the following weekend uh, against Denver at Shields Arena. So we'll recap those games, uh, all this big homestand coming up, and we'll see you out here to support the ladies. Have a good week.